All right, Dr. Barnes, welcome to North Alabama. Once again, you're here to represent the GCA, GCAC and announcing a cross-country championship um, deal with the city and tourism. First and foremost, um, what went into this deal to actually come on back after you guys did it last year? Hey, a lot of good teamwork. Uh, we are so excited to have the partnership of the sports tourism uh, community here. Um, Don Dukdemir, who is our, our colleague and director of sports development, who we had the opportunity to work with, has been amazing. Um, we were here last year in 2023. It was an, an excellent uh, event for our student athletes, and we could not be more happy to be back here in this community where our institutions where our student athletes were welcomed and um, it felt really good so we are so excited about this partnership and that it's going to be more of a long-term one now. Now the Oakville course I mean it's state-of-the-art the reason why I say that state high school championships have been here for a number of years I'm pretty sure that was probably gave, given to you with the info pack and whatnot but when you, you know you think about like so many championships being here now your conference being here you know what are your thoughts about the, the overall aesthetics of the course. Oh, let me tell you something. The course is second to none. Um, it was great. It was it was challenging, which is good because we want our student athletes to be challenged so that they can go to nationals and compete well. Um, I believe that the course is so uh, well done that there's there could be opportunities for us to partner and host maybe a national meet here. Um, we've had some conversations about what we believe could be the future, and so I hope that this partnership will lend even more to this community um, in the future. Can you go talk a little bit more about why it was Decatur, why this community, what factors went into your decision to bring it back? Well, one of the things, we want to go to a community, we wanted to find a home. We not only just want to be here just to host our event, but we want to become a part of the community. We want this event to become something that young students who are interested in going to college look forward to learning about institutions that they could potentially attend and about the different, um, I would say, um, career opportunities that exist and degrees that they could pursue. Um, and also that, you know, if they desire, to do track and field, to run cross country, that they can also do this in college. Sometimes it's just being able to see someone um, in that role that will inspire them to want to continue to do well in school. Um, so it's it's also, it's a great place because we feel like we're home and that we're going to be welcome. That's number one. But number two, our opportunity to work with student athletes and, and this community and inspire young people, I think, is the other thing that makes this partnership really special. Um, I remember when you were coach forms, <laughs> and then you moved over to administration, um, you know, with Dillard and now with the conference. You kind of look back upon these last couple of years. How do you feel that you have helped the conference grow? Well, I tell you what, I think the thing that is most valuable, that I bring to the conference that's most valuable is that on-campus experience. Um, I don't know about any other commissioner in the, in, the, in the nation, but what I'll say is I do believe that I have a unique understanding and perspective of what our challenges um, are. And because I get to be in this role, I get to work every day on figuring out ways to overcome them and making a better experience for our student athletes. Um, also to help my administrators, you know, they could be overwhelmed sometimes because there's so many things that they have to do. So I feel like I get to take some of that off their plate. Um, and then again, finding a home for all of our championships is really critical and a place where our student athletes get a great experience that's going to help my my schools be able to recruit uh, when they can say hey we go to this great city it's this great experience and our student athletes talk positively about that so I see this kind of in a 360 degree way in where we're not um, just taking and it's it's a give give in all situations so I think that's the value that I bring having all those different perspectives and having the opportunity to actually be right there on campus and understand what those challenges are. So it's fun. I'm excited. Um, again, we're, we're finding great people uh, and great communities to partner with, and that is going to make the difference for our institutions.